How many here are tired of seeing believers stricken with cancer? How many are tired of seeing believers die prematurely because of some sickness that ravages their body? How many believe today, or how many can put your faith out there today to say, God, we can believe you for such a hedge of protection around the body of Christ that not one disease or sickness will be able to even touch your people or come near your people. You see, look, we've been in leper colonies in India. We have sat in the dirt with lepers in India with, with, with their hands falling off and their faces falling off and open sores and flies swarming in their open wounds. And we go to these leper colonies out in India where they're totally outcast from society. No one will even touch them or go near them or love them or anything. And when we go to our missions trips in India with our crusades and pastors conferences, we never forget the orphans, the widows, and the lepers. And we go out and we take time to minister one-on-one -on -one to these lepers. And I'll never forget my team when we went to India. We had our women from our team in America get down in the dirt. And these lepers, these other leprous women would just put their head like a little baby down in the laps of these women and they would just put their arms around them and love them. Tears, I'll never forget tears streaming down their faces. For some of these lepers, the first time they ever had human contact or a physical touch. Leprosy is very contagious. And people say, Matt, what are you doing going into a leper colony, touching these lepers, going near these open sores? You'll catch the leprosy. What are you doing? But you see, there's a law that's higher than the law of sin and death. It's the law of the spirit of life. It's more powerful than the law of sin and death. It's more powerful than sickness and disease. And I have a faith in God that when I'm going on divine assignment for his work, that before that leprosy can touch my body, it has to first go through the blood of Jesus Christ. That I'm covered under the blood of Jesus. And before that sickness can touch me, it's got to first touch the blood. And when it touches the blood, it dies. Amen. After we visited that leper colony, we laid hands on each one of those lepers, hugged them, fed them, spent the day with them. Went back home. Pastor from India called us up two weeks later. Matt, we went back to that leper colony to follow up with the lepers that you prayed for. And he's crying on the other end of the phone, crying. He said, when we went back to talk to those lepers, they said to us, when that white man came and touched us, we felt the leprosy stop in our bodies and we're healed. And we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. But I want you to understand something, church. You are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. You are covered under the blood. When you walk with that revelation, there's power in that. But the Lord brought me to this scripture. And I said, Lord, yeah, there's people even in the church dying prematurely. People in the church that are sick. And you say here that if we don't properly discern the body of Christ, that that's one of the reasons why this is happening in the church. So I want to give you, I want to submit to you for your pondering three revelations of what it means to properly discern the body of Christ. Number one, probably the most obvious recognizing, discerning, because this whole scripture is about communion, recognizing and discerning that when you receive communion, communion, the bread and the drink, that communion is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Proper, that's the first level of properly discerning the body of Christ in communion. That when you receive communion, you're receiving the body and blood of Christ. But you see, that's... That's the first level of understanding. Now, let's think about this. Discerning his body and blood, discerning what his body and blood accomplished on the cross. What his body and blood accomplished 
when Jesus was crucified. That by his stripes we are healed. And he was wounded for our transgressions. And his body was broken for our healing. And if you're taking notes, write down Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 and 1 Peter 2, 24. It talks about by his stripes we're healed. His body was broken so that we can made, be made whole. You see, a lot of people, when they put their faith in the sacrifice of Christ, they put their faith for forgiveness of sins. They see Jesus died on the cross. His blood was shed for my sin. They put faith in the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins. But then they leave out the fact that his body was broken so ours could be made whole. They don't properly discern what Jesus really did for us on the cross. When we discern that Jesus died on the cross so our sins could be forgiven and so that our spirit, soul, body, and mind could be made whole. He was broken so we could be made whole. When you discern that in his body on the cross, you then by faith can receive what he did for you. So it's discerning his body in communion, discerning that when you receive it, you're receiving the body and blood of Christ. It's discerning the body and blood of Christ on the cross, understanding that he didn't just die for your forgiveness, he died for your sickness to be healed. Because if you don't believe it, if you don't believe it, if you don't believe that when Jesus' body was broken for you, so that you could be made whole, if you don't believe that, there are whole parts of the church today that do not believe God heals. They don't believe Jesus died for our healing. So they stay sick because they don't believe, they don't properly discern the body of Christ. Now, I want to talk to you about a third way that we discern the body of Christ. This is an actual testimony of God's miraculous power at Matt's meetings. Thanks for writing your blog post, Does God Choose Your Spouse? and for the MP4. It has really strengthened my faith as I continue to trust God for a wife. Not every day is easy. However, hearing about you and your spouse walk in holiness and live a life that's pleasing to the Lord has really encouraged me to also pursue the same lifestyle. Your ministry has so touched my life. I have grown in my personal relationship with the Lord from hearing you preach. I draw faith from your testimony as I walk through this season of being prepared by the Lord to be used by Him. Thanks for impacting my life. Rex. Send us your testimonies on how God has impacted you through Matt Sorger Ministries. Imagine transforming one person, one household, one block, one community, one town, and the entire city you live in. It's the kingdom of God living within us that will impact every city around the world. God desires to visit and transform whole cities and regions with His presence. In this teaching series, Citywide Transformation, you will see a portrait of revival and obtain the keys to see your city impacted with a move of God's Spirit. God yearns to awaken your heart, your family, your neighborhood, your workplace, and every area of your life. Learn how to facilitate and steward a move of God and begin to transform your entire city. Order Citywide Transformation today, a four CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us at mattsorger.com. Introducing the all new MSM app, where you can grow with Matt Sorger Ministries through video, audio, and social media around the world. Watch Power for Life over Wi-Fi or listen to a podcast on the go. View Matt's itinerary and see where he'll be speaking next. Follow Matt on Facebook and Twitter or view some photos on Instagram. Read the Bible in 40 different versions or listen to the English Standard Version. 
You can also journal as Matt shares God's Word. Read Matt's blog, where he gives insight through many teachings. Or raise your faith by reading someone's testimony and then share with friends that may need encouragement on Facebook. You get all these features and much more to explore in a clean, organized, and easy-to-use interface absolutely free. Download the MSM app for iPhone and Android devices by searching for Matt Sorger in the app and Google Play stores today. This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.